Okay, I'm super excited about this. This is an Edelkrone Slider 1 V2. That's always funny when product names have 1 and 2 in them. Um, I have a Sony a7R2 connected to it, and there's a shutter release cable, which is plugged into the back of this unit. Uh, I've been trying to figure out a way to um, to do stereoscopic time lapse on this or stereoscopic uh, stop motion. Um, the, their app is meant for single camera uh, time lapse and stop motion. So it will trigger the camera uh, during a ramp between any two positions over time. But it won't go between, you know, uh, stereo baseline. So it won't shoot and then offset and then, you know, repeat that. Um, you can loop the movements, but it won't trigger the camera between. And there's actually no way to trigger the camera except by going into setup and uh, settings and test, uh, unless you're in one of the official modes like time lapse. So I'm running this thing. I think it's called uh, it's called auto auto tap. I'll, I'll, I'll find out what it's called. Um, I just did a search on Google Play Store for automatic tapping in Android, and I set up this little macro here, which uh, taps on pose one and then goes into settings. So it goes to pose one. Um, and then goes to settings and clicks on test, which takes a picture, and then it, it taps on done. And then it goes to pose two, which is one centimeter to the left uh, in you know this particular test, and then it does the same thing. It goes into settings, uh, takes a picture, and then comes back. So it's kind of a hacky way to do it, but um, it looks like it works. Here, I'm going to hit play. So you'll see it move to the first position, go in settings, click on test, taps on pose two, goes into settings, test the camera, back to pose one, and it will do this infinitely as long as this camera has power and is connected over Bluetooth to the slider. So I'm pretty pleased. I'm going to go test this at some point pretty soon. Um, I don't know, I, I need to find something that moves over time, like flowers that turn with the sun. Uh, and I also, I also need a couple hours where I can uh, just be free to do these photographic tests without any distraction. So, pretty exciting. Um, oh, this is moving one centimeter just to show uh, that it can move, you know, any distance. Um, I've been doing tests with, um, uh, with stereo baselines of like two millimeters and that makes things like little figurines look really big, um, like giants. So I'm really excited about this kind of force perspective stuff that I'm gonna do uh, in headset in 3D 180.